Cam Akers appears to suffer a fairly serious injury. All right, welcome back to the One Bar Lopagas Show. I'm One Bar with Lopagas and Cam Akers are, I would say, I guess at this point, he's still a backup running back, appears to have suffered a serious ACL injury. Ouch, dagger to the heart. Balls. Yeah, before we get to that dagger to the heart and balls, uh, subscribe to the channel, like and comment, and also download Underdog Fantasy. If you haven't done it yet, get the app, promo code SKULL, match with the first 100 bucks. Get it. It's easy. It's fun. And start winning. And let us know how you do. Let us know how you do in the comments. Let us know what you think about Cam Akers. So Cam Akers, obviously the trade in September, uh, we gave up a sixth for Cam Akers and a conditional uh, seventh, I believe. But I, I think I think I got this right. If I got it wrong, let us know. But he had to get over 500 yards rushing. Uh, if he didn't, then it's a wash. Like we didn't give up anything. The trade is pretty much nullified or whatever mm -hmm. you say. So as far as that whole trade, if this is a serious injury and he is in fact done for the year, uh, we didn't give, there was like nothing, no compensation either way. Yeah. And you know, compensation aside, it just sucks because Cam Akers has looked like the better back oh, yeah. uh, when, when he's getting touches as opposed to Alexander Madison, he's finding space for Madison. Isn't he's showing shiftiness. He's showing elusiveness. He's getting nine yards or Madison gets negative two. So he's looked like the better player. He just hasn't got the touches. Yeah, and this just sucks ass for, for Cam Akers. He's already, I mean, if it's a torn ACL, whatever it is, he did it back in 2021. Now mm. he's going to have another one. I mean, to have two in this quick uh, of a stint uh, is not good for his future. It sucks ass for him. It sucks ass for the Vikings. We loved having him all through. It was a, it was a pretty damn good trade based off what we gave up for him. And, and this hurts. This hurts our running back. Well, and, and it sucks, too, because this dude was the leader. I don't know if you saw the, the tape. I think it was after the Niners win. He's there at the locker room shaking everybody's hand, greeting oh, yeah. everybody as they come into the locker room. A guy who just got here showing that kind of leadership was huge. And, yeah, it's just another blow to this Vikings 2023 team that's lost their starting quarterback, lost their starting wide receiver, their star wide receiver. Lost their left tackle, now losing a running back. I mean, injury after injury after injury. This team keeps persevering, and now they get to overcome losing a back. Uh, and and really, I think the best back on the roster. Yeah, it hurts. We we're starting to see a little bit more and more of him. And now, uh, unless barring some uh, miracle, it's something that is not as bad as it sounds. Uh, we're not going to see him anymore. Uh, it sucks ever again. Yeah, I mean, so we got to look at the guys who, who who's the next man up. I mean, you would think it's going to be Ty Chandler. I would hope it's Ty Chandler. We all want to see more Ty Chandler. Yeah, Ty Chandler. I, I you think that's the guy who should see the immediate? Um, I, I don't see. He's going to be the one elevated, right? So it's going to be it's going to be Alexander Madison, like him or not, which we clearly are not really big fans of here at the Lombard Lopez Show. Ty Chandler behind him. Will it be Dwayne McBride? Will he be you know elevated from the practice squad? Will we go out and find some help. Uh, who is it going to be to be the third guy? Kenny Nguangu? I mean, is he gonna ever going to be healthy? Is he actually going to get used as a running back? I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked if they add someone to the practice squad who's out there uh, in free agency. Well, the big thing is, is with, with Kirk Cousins out, we got Josh Dobbs, who was a goddamn hero oh. today. We need a running game, and we need one bad. So I won't be surprised if come Tuesday we see some names that they come in, look at, have a little look-see for a workout. Uh, but Ty Chandler is the guy. Uh, that you would think immediately will be elevated up. Uh, I love it. I hate Cam Akers, the fact he's down, but I love the fact that maybe we actually get a look at Ty Chandler. And we've only got a small glimpse of him so far this year, but the looks we've had. Looks been, not too shabby. They've been pretty nice looks. They've been pretty mm. nice looks. Real nice. Real nice. So sucks for Cam Akers. Sucks for us. Uh, hopefully, like I said, hopefully barring a miracle, it, it's not as bad as it sounds, but it sounds bad. It does all. not sound good at all, but we are hoping for the best for Cam Akers. We thank him for his service. We will never forget you and what you've done for the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, and until then, guys, let us know what you think in the comments about Cam Akers' injury, how you feel, and also let me know how you feel about this. The word school comes from the ancient Greek word for free time.